Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 75 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And hopefully in this episode, we'll be able to complete the bottom of the well dungeon. Because it's not too long of a dungeon, there are sculptures hidden down here, don't fool yourself into thinking that- Oh, I see a treasure chest there that I forgot to pick up. It's just taunting me as I crawl back through this hole. And it's probably just something useless like bombs or something, I don't know. Let's see. It is? Bombs, wow, did I called that. Wow. I really didn't know it was going to be bombs, but that's nice. Anyway, so now you basically have to wander around this area, looking and have your lens of truth on, and look for things like this here, um, I suppose. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've already talked to you before. Well, not you specifically, because I've just talked to your carbon copy, let's say that. There's a locked door here. We can't do anything about that right now. But, there is a thing in the wall here, like a hidden passage. So, we're just gonna go ahead and open this chest. What could this be? It has to be the dungeon map or the compass now, because we already got the item. How often do you get the item before the map and the compass? I don't know, but that's the compass. Which makes this place look really weird, but- Oh god! Don't step too far in that direction, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go back this way. And look for some more secret passages. Um, there's one here, it looks like. There's another item, or chest here. It is... A key! That's gonna be very useful for us. Because keys are always useful in dungeons, as was demonstrated by the Water Temple. And another secret passage here, and the hole in the floor there. Beware- Oh! Watch for the shadows and monsters that hang- Oh, yeah. Wall masters, floor masters, whatever you want to call them. They're in here. Alright, just checking for holes in front of this door, but there are none, so we're just gonna go in here. Oh, I hear a Skulltula, and I see a Skulltula too. Okay, nothing hidden in this room, just this- Oh god! Um, those pots that hit me, they contain some hearts, so doesn't that defeat the purpose of them flying at me, hitting me and stuff? Whatever. I'm not gonna debate that. Anyways, let's get our items here. We haven't used this in a long time, the slingshot boomerang combo. So used to the hookshot, you know? And Skulltula, get! Then that's it for this room. Yep, and that's not the only Skulltula in this mini dungeon. I think there's like three, something, maybe two or three. Alright, let's check around for some more hidden passages. Um, oh god, I hear- oh, I heard a wall master. Ouch! Bitch. Alright, um, so there's a chest guarded by that Skulltula here, I guess. Gonna pick it up. Deku nuts. That's kind of you. Don't lag again. No. No, you don't lag again. That's right, you don't lag again. You suck. And do your pendulum thing. I didn't mean to hit you. I just wanted to take up my sword. There. Now you're dead. What do you think about that? Alright, let's look for more passages. Um, there's nothing there. There's a like like, I guess. But yeah, anyways, remember how this guy said that there's danger below? That's because there's a hole right there. So, be very careful. Oh look, it's a passage. Secret passage. Oh no, I left my lens of truth on, now I can't take it off. Boo. That sucks. That sucks ass. Okay, take that off. Oh, I need a key here. Damn it. That sucks. Even more ass. Alright. Not much to say about this place. It's the bottom of the well. It's pre basically a preview of the Shadow Temple, except, like, not nearly as bad as the Shadow Temple, really. Alright. Yep, and there's another Skulltula there that I did not mean to get hit by. Let's just go around him this time. And be careful, because there's a hole in the floor right there. But, if you come over here, you will see that there's a crack in this random sludge pile. So, that is a sig- that is a- a hint, I guess, to get out your bombs, and use them to blow it up. Watch it go boom. I mean, duh. And will that get us another key? No, it'll get us more Deku nuts. Wow. Fail. Alright. Ow! That's the second time you hit me, brah. I'm not gonna even bother with you. You're not worth my time. Alright, so over here, there's another passage, I guess. Um, yep. And don't be fooled into thinking that that gate is blocking your access here just by looking down that corridor, because you can come down here, as I just showed. Oh, a recovery heart. How lovely. Haven't seen one of those in a chest since, what, the Deku tree? 
That was a long time ago, man. That was like episode two. Alright, in here there is a very not friendly area. Basically, there are, um... There are a bunch of coffins and torches, and whenever you light a torch next to a coffin, it'll... Well, basically, it'll turn it on. It, or, it'll open the coffin, I mean, that's next to. And so, there's only really one coffin in here that you want to open, because the rest contain, like, mummies or something. And that is going to be this one. So, you have to get far enough away from it that you'll still be able to hit it, but only it. Hopefully, this will work for me. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like that works. And, oh my god, scary cutscene. Uh, and there's keys inside that coffin, I guess. Alright, get over here and let me kill you. Thank you. At least not fire keys, that's always a plus. And inside, there's a key, oh my god. There's a random key sitting on the floor. What the hell? Alright, yeah, and basically the mummies that are inside these coffins are like re-deads, except they take more hits, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, look at this, we're not even like halfway through the episode yet. Wow. That's crazy, man. Okay, so now we have another key, but we've encountered two locked doors so far, so which one are we going to use? Or which one are we going to, like, unlock, I guess? Um, go away! Go away! Thank you. So let's get out our lens of truth again. Eye of truth. Um, also, um, something I should mention about the lens of truth is that there, in, you know that treasure chest minigame I did way back when, um, yeah, that treasure chest mini game. Basically, and that I failed at epically, and there was a big fail montage thing. But yeah, basically, if you wait until you have the lens of truth there, and you go to um play that, when you use the lens of truth, you can actually see what's inside each chest, so you can pretty much just win that way by cheating. Anyways, just walk along the edge of this room, and you get a skull shot. Nice. Oh, I didn't even realize that this was going to be here. I thought it was going to be like another small key or something. I don't know. Ah, oh, boomerang. Alright. Yep. Then there's another Skulltula. Is that the last one in this dungeon? I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe that's just because we don't have the dungeon map yet. Yeah, where is that thing? There's not really anywhere else to go now, is there? Not especially, no. Well, actually, yes, there is somewhere to go. And that somewhere to go is going to be the basement. And I got, like, hit infinitely there by that freaking bubble. But whatever. Deku sticks, awesome. I love Deku sticks, man. Okay, so, you come into the basement, and there's going to be this, uh, uh, there's going to be a silver rupee puddle down here, which is fun for the whole family. All right, but you can also see that there's a treasure chest down here, actually. Um, it looks like it's gonna be over this way. Yep, oh, bombs. We need bombs. You know, bombs, because I can't wait to bomb some- Oh, look at that, 80 Skulltula tokens. Sweet. And back to my joke, I can't wait to bomb some Zongos. Watch it go boom! Wow. Back here, there's a Reedhead. Holy shit. Go away. Die. Die, please. Please die, please. Ow. 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 Fuck you. Thank you. That was annoying. Anyways, oh look, it's the dungeon map. Yeah, I'm just gonna spoil that for you, because what else could it be, really? Did you think there was gonna be another item in this dungeon, or a compass or something? No. Anyways, now can we check to see if we have our, just all the Skulltulas? And we still don't. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought there was at least one more, so... Yep. Anyways, so don't touch the green slime, it'll hurt you, you know? It's kind of like that heart juice in the forest temple, except it's green. So yeah. Let's go grab our silver rupees. Oh, there's a Rita over there. Want to avoid that. Nice. Okay, let me just... What the fuck? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's kill you. There we go. That wasn't as bad as the last one, because it didn't even rape us this time. That's awesome. Watch it go boom. Nice. So what's back here, anyways? I forget. Oh, just a bomb flower, for whatever reason. Nice. Okay, so that's all the silver rupees down here. The rest are going to be up this ladder, I am fairly certain. I am fairly certain that the rest are up this ladder, like this one right here, and holy shit, there's another ladder, let's climb it. Why do I have a southern accent all of a sudden? I'm so strange. I'm the strangest LP I ever did see, except not really. 
There are plenty stranger LPs than I. And there's the last ruby. Just right next to the door that it unlocks. How convenient. And that'll take us to a new area, I do believe. Oh, no, wait. This is the area that... Alright. Uh, so this is that other area, I guess. That we saw... That we found earlier. Alright, so where am I supposed to go again? I completely forget. Oh, I remember. I remember. Dude, I'm being a dumbass. I forgot to get this chest right here. Right here. This one just hiding. It's in, hiding in plain sight. Except only in plain sight if you have the lens of truth, obviously. Wow, I, so I basically just wasted a whole shit ton of time right there. Oh, well, I got to show you the basement, the map, and stuff like that. So now we can actually go through here again and unlock the locked door that was on this side. Great, because I'm getting sick of this bottom of the well dungeon. It's blanderizing my commentary. Blanderizing is the new, is my new official word. I own the copyrights to. Oh god, I see fire keys. And you know what that means? Get out your Highland shield. Because even though I hardly ever use it anymore, because I'm usually an adult, I don't want to lose my Deku shield. All right, let's see if we can snipe some of these guys out. Got you. Got you. All right, one more. Oh God! Holy shit! There we go. All right. So, as you might imagine, since this room looks fairly simple and straightforward, it is not simple and straightforward. Uh, we can blow up that thing though. But there's use the lens of truth, and you'll see that there are some holes around here. So you want to avoid those at all costs. And we're done. Nice. Okay, let's. Let's see here, um, move over here, nice. Sweet. And, oh, sounds like there's one sculpture left, and the like, like, that's scary. Eat my bomb. I said eat my bomb. Bitch. Why won't you eat my bomb? Well, fine, I'll just kill you with my sword. Or my other bomb. That's fine, too. Skulltula, the last sculpture of this dungeon. Sweet. And I believe this is going to clear clear out the dungeon for us. Which is nice. Since we're approaching the 13 minute mark here. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to have a little bit of time left, I suppose. What's in this chest? This chest contains... A blue rupee. I guess, I think that would actually contain a Deku shield if you lost yours to those fire keys before. But anyways, that essentially clears out the bottom of the well here. As you can see, we got all the sculptures. We missed a chest there, but I don't really care for it. So let's just get out of here. What do you say? Let's get out of here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, get out your ocarina. And we're just gonna warp out, I suppose. Nice. Okay, so, um, I think we're just gonna kind of go to the entrance of the, of the Shadow Temple. We'll turn back into an adult and then go to the entrance of the Shadow Temple, of course. Because we can't do the Shadow Temple as a, ch as a kid, even though we can get there, we can't do it. That would be kind of epic, but whatever. There will be room for that later, maybe. More on that later. Alright. Um, we got about a minute and a half left here. We can do this, because all we have to do is watch through this cutscene for like the billionth time, and then use a warp song. Okay, um, oh no, actually we have another thing to do to actually get into the Shadow Temple, but yeah, we'll do that. We can do that in this episode. I have a feeling, ooh, no, that we can do it in this ep Okay, what am I doing? There we go. Play the Nocturne of Shadow for the first time as an adult. Such an awesome tune, I love it so, so much. My favorite song in the game, as I've stated previously. And we arrive here, just behind the graveyard. Alright, so now if we go down into this uh, tunnel here, you will see that there are um, a bunch of torches and stuff that you cannot possibly all light at once, because I think they go out eventually if you try it with the fire arrows or anything. Uh, 20 seconds left. Use dense fire. Basically, that's it. Alright, and that's going to allow you entrance to the Shadow Temple. So, I'm just going to cut it off as this door opens. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.